You can do it. Okay, but if it's a no, that means I'm stuck in Thimbleweed Park and have to take over the pillow factory. Okay, but if it's a yes, what will become of Dad? Stuck here alone with Uncle Chuck. What are my controls for this game? Oh. Okay. I could have sworn, like, some of these buttons... Yeah, yeah, okay. Oh, open, pick up. Okay, cool, great. Okay, but... Okay, okay, I'm opening it. Yes! It's a job offer from Mucus Phlegm to be a game programmer. I'm so excited. Can't wait to tell Uncle Chuck. He'll be so proud. But first... Nice. Hey, Chucky baby, what the beep is holding up the toy licensing contract? Your brother Franklin said it was a done deal, so I thought I'd write to this to the big guy himself and get this thing moving. My beeping comeback is going to be beeping huge, and making Ransom dolls will be like printing beeping money. Beep off, Ransom. We know who that is. Tell Uncle Chuck. Uh, no. Right this way. Hello, my favorite niece. Uncle Chuck, Uncle Chuck, great news. Yes, Dolores, what is it, my dear future leader of Pillotronics? I, uh, here, read this. You're what? You're giving up the opportunity to run Pillotronics to be, uh, to be a game programmer? Yes, that's what I've always wanted to do. Not run Pillowtronics. I'm leaving on the first bus out of Thimbleweed Park. Then, Dolores, you are out of my will. You're giving up over ten million dollars. That's twenty million in 2017 dollars. Just to pick an arbitrary date in the future, you are dead to me. Wow. Dolores broke Uncle Chuck's heart and started programming those murder simulators. Real life murder is the next logical step for her, sweetie. Oh, for sure. Stop her before she schemes her way into sweet Uncle Chuck's inheritance. Sure, we'll get right on that. Come back and see me soon, sweetie. Ciao. Where can Agent Ray... If by look at you mean smell, I've already done that. Town outskirts. There's no path beyond this point. It just looks like unfinished... T that Ransom the Clown isn't very popular around here. It says he eats tuna. No one is in there. Alright, so we did pretty much everything we could down this road. Locked, and nobody's inside. Um... Walk to YouTube door? She named it what we suggested. <laughs> That's awesome. Can we go... Wait, what's this say now? Hello, Reno. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It is uh, uh, quite annoying. No, sir. 
Yes, sir. They have been taken care of. Yes, sir. Permanently. Oh, yes, sir. Violently. No, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, wrestling was quite good tonight. Goodbye, sir. Whoa. Hmm. I'd rather wait for the hotel. Uh, light switch? It's turned off. For a good night time, Edna three four four four. We're totally gonna call her later. Edna three four four four. Gotta remember for that good time. Oh, hey, more no dust! Way am I going to look in there? I can. See it's my specks of dust. Agent Ray. Agent Ray, can you hear me? Saves trees. Employees must always wash their hands. Huh? I look good. Got some toilet paper. Hold on, ready? Look at this. Watch this toilet paper. Watch this toilet paper. Oh, I don't have options in here? Hold on. This is really important. I have to test this for science. There's our save. Did it just seriously say, are you sure you want to quit Arena? I'm pretty sure it said that. All right, we're launching again. Oh, it was under video. Okay. Oh! Wait, you have to select that every time you... Hold on, wait, what? How do I load my game? What the deuce? What's it doing? Well, good time to do this. Gank and Flex, Old Geezer, Von Clunge, Stam Stream, Altitas, It's HP, Hack and Slash, Stranger Dominator. Thank you very much. Pone Flakes with the 39 months, dude. Solar Jetman, Skasimune, Mukul, Six, Bloody Old Toad, Azazel, Azza921. Oh my, uh, language with the $3 tip. Mr. Geo, Jid, Lawless Bandit, Draken, Phantasma, Slark Knight, Sean, Splood the Dude, Taste Some Salty, Sciasiatic, Crazy, Baked Beef, Apocalypse King, Godless Hallelujah. Havis Ravencraft, Bebake04 with a cheer. Doom Buggy, Smoke Alone. Good to see you, man. Ridley and Terra Mercurian also yammering. Thank you for the support and good, good show, show too. Too, too, too. Thank you, guys. We just saved, so I know it should be fine. I fly halfway around the world, and an odd note is waiting for me in my hotel room. It says to come to the bridge down by the river. This looks like the place. I could really go for some Wiener Schnitzel after the long walk. That was super weird. I wonder why I did that. Uh, is it under video, you said? Yeah, there it is. Boom! Look at the toilet paper. That's all I wanted to do. That's it. That's all I wanted to do. Toilet paper over or under? Or over or under? Definitely over. Always over. And anyone who says differently is just ridiculous. Ugh. They're all used up. It's stuck. Open toiletron. I'd rather not. I can imagine what it looks like in there. Mm, I think we're good. Movietron Beta Rent 3000? I can't use it? I think it's broken. Oh, what's wrong? All the lights are out. It must be broken. It's a pretty big vacuum. All the lights are out. It must be broken. 
The instructions say insert coupon for movie. Hmm. Looks pretty dark down there. I can't I can't open that. Looks pretty dark down there. I can't see anything there, but it's pretty stinky. Okay. We'll go up there in a second. Let's see what this is. Take it. It was a sample from a traveling animal repellent salesman. But I doubt if it actually works. I wouldn't want to find out. Okay. Welcome to Quickie Pal. Can I help you find anything? This is Leonard. Okay. It's an I'm sorry. Wish I had a walkie-talkie so I could call Agent Ray. Hmm. Okay. Not a lot over here. If I had something to mail, this might work. So we Let know, know where to if I can do help that you now. Find anything. No, I don't want to pick that up. I'd play if it were a sure thing. Let's talk to him. Hi there. I'm Quickie Pal Leonard. How can I help you? I'm Junior Special Agent Reyes. Uh, I'm not holding if that's what you're thinking. <laughs> Do you know anything about the body by the river? No, but I heard the sheriff nearly ralphed when he saw it. The only bods I've seen lately are the righteous babes at the top shelf of the magazine rack. Oh my. Let's not go there. Have you seen anyone acting suspiciously around town? Actually, now you mention it, I did see something suspicious a couple of nights ago. I was on the late shift getting ready to close up and grab some Zaha, when Willie the town bum walks in. Zaha. Was totally whack when I think about it. Why did Willie seem suspicious to you? Well, normally we have to toss him out because the dude smells grody, and he never has any money. But for the first time in forever, Bro pulls out this wallet and flashes a fat stack of dead presidents. I thought it was kind of bitching when he bought out the liquor cabinet. So he probably saw the murder and took the guy's wallet. Could the wallet you saw have belonged to Willie? <laughs> no way. That wallet was his. I figured he got lucky and found it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. But come to think of it, I'm pretty sure the wallet had some weird red stains on it. At the time, I thought it was the cherry mouthwash he drinks, but it could have been blood. Tell me a bit about yourself, Leonard. Dude, how do you know my name? Are you, like, telepathic or something? No. You just told me your name, and it's also on your name tag. This guy reminds me so much of that dude from Vampire the Masquerade. <laughs> do you like your job here at the Quickie Pal? Heck yeah! I got a freaking sweet deal here with free coffee and minimum wage. Plus, I don't get many customers on the late shift, so I get plenty of time to think. You said you get a lot of time to think. I'm like an abstract thinker, way ahead of the curve, man. You too, man? My mom says I should be more like my cousin Bernard, who got a scholarship to MIT. But why be like that, dweeb, when I could be like Chuck Edmund? Tell me about Chuck. He's my freaking hero, man. Dude never went to college. Just started building his machines when he was a kid. That guy made this town rich just by doing what he loved. You seem to really admire Chuck. That's why I dropped out of high school. I don't want to live my life for the man like some peon in a polyester cage. No offense. None taken. Ugh, these flickering lights are going to drive me insane. <laughs> yeah, it's a trip, isn't it? Oh, they're even better if you get a little toked up and... Uh, <laughs> I mean, yes, officer, I'll get those fixed right away. Oh, oh, hey, guys. For the record, that timeout on that on uh, on that dude with the cigarette that was totally the bot misfiring. No, we would never time that emote out normally. Uh, what do you think about the state of the town? What do you think about the state of the town? Just ignore the losers who say this town is over. I mean, pff, not even. We got everything a person could ever need here in the quickie pal for one. Can I take a look at the security tape? Can I take a look at that security tape? 
Oh, no can do, broski. We only have one Betamax tape here at the Quickie Pal, and the boss man would freak if I gave it away. If I lose it, my ass is grass. Why do you have a Betamax player? Why do you have a Betamax player? We have one sweet, cutting-edge Betamax player here. We don't want to be stuck with a piece of obsolete technology when VHS bites the big one. Gotta invest in the superior tech, dude. It's been long enough. Maybe you should just try switching to Agent Ray. I can't! Oh. I need to stay focused and solve this murder so I can get on with my plan. An arm extended in friendship or supplication. Hmm. Hard to tell. Certain is made of plastic. No murder here. I can't turn it. The only thing I get from poking around these boxes is a case of sneezes. Gotta get that speck of dust. Oh, more dust. It's a sturdy, impenetrable gate. Hmm. No, she didn't die. She was knocked out and put in the sewers, apparently. It's sealed shut. No way to open it. Looks like this valve has been welded into position. That grate won't come off. Hmm. Okay. An emergency call Anders Weston? Looks like someone knew I was going to get stuck down here. Unless my kidnapper wrote that as a trap. Only one way to find out, I guess. It's my specks of dust. The only reason to pick up a manhole cover is to go... I'm looking for an escape route. But I'm looking to go up, not down. It needs a dime to work. Hmm. An empty coin return slot. Looks like someone knew I was going to get stuck down here. Unless my kidnapper wrote that as a trap. Just Only need one to find way to find dime. out, I guess. It's a tunnel. It's a sturdy, impenetrable gate. I can't budge it. Hmm. The cell phone has no reception. It's an empty can of Crockford's tuna heads, the good parts. Dell has that fishy. There's a fingerprint. This has fi It's my specks of dust. The only thing I get from poking around these boxes is a case of sneezes. An arm extended in friendship or supplication. Hmm. Hard to tell. Certainly looks fake. I can't pick it up? It's made of plastic. No murder here. Well, we can certainly... I can see a quickie pal store. Oh, um, yeah. Looks pretty dark down there. Wait, I see Agent Ray. Agent Ray, is that you? No, it's the Pope. The Vatican decided to take me on a tour of the sewers. Of course it's me, you idiot. Why are you in the sewer? Enjoying the sights and smells, practicing my sewer spelunking hobby, hunting for ninja turtles. Take your pick. You go spelunking? 
No, you moron. Someone attacked me when I was investigating the alley behind the diner. Are you okay? Are you hurt? Do you need medical attention? I'm fine. I've woken up in worse states and in worse places than this. But usually there was tequila involved. Fair enough. Did you see who attacked you? I will have them arrested so fast, their head will spin. No, they came at me from behind. It was lights out before I had a chance to turn around. But I'm guessing whoever it was doesn't like us poking around town. We'll make them pay for this, Agent Ray. Just as soon as we get you out of that sewer. Have you looked around the sewers yet? Yeah, and I couldn't find an exit. There is a payphone down here, though, so I might be able to call someone. Neat! Except I don't have any dimes, and my cell phone doesn't work down here. Is there anything I can do? I could see if the sheriff can help? For all we know, the coroner Arino put me here himself. Huh. Good point. If you want to make yourself useful, see if you can find me a dime for the payphone. Okay. I'm on it, Agent Ray. I'll be back as soon as I can. Don't screw this up, Reyes. Alright, uh, also, I saw chat suggest the very good idea of trying to pull this. I can't pull that. I can't push that. It's made of plastic. Yeah. It's made of plastic. A flower from the cemetery. I don't know. That's that's a weird one. I can't open that. Maybe, maybe we can... I don't know. I don't know about that one. But we now know exactly what we need to do. We need to find a dime. Um... I wonder, I wonder if we can pass things between each other. Oh, let's go to the Outlook. Maybe we can find something up there. Yeah, we'll see what we can find up here. Uh, woo! Whoa there, little agent of Reno. You can't just go bumbling around the county without a map. It's too easy to get lost. There is a killer Reno on the loose. I'm a federal agent. I can take care of myself. And a darn fine agent, I'm sure of. But we have laws around here, and everyone is required to have an official map. A map? Seriously? Oh, yes, and not just any map, but an official map. And where would I find this official map? Well, the county is plumberino out of them. I guess this really messes up your investigation. I'm sure the head office will understand Reno. Shall I mark the case as unsolved? Uh... Aren't there some donuts that need eating? Well, you got me there. Oh, those donuts aren't gonna eat themselves. But we have laws around here, and everyone is required to have an official map. <laughs> okay. Not a chance. The feds never give up. I see. <laughs> Where do I find an official map? Well, <laughs> I'm a fan, yeah, but we have. Yeah. Ooh. So if I try to go out again, he'll. Whoa. They... Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So we got to find a map before we go to these other places. Yeah. Find a map. Still need to talk to Dolores and Ransom, but I don't know if we can get to them without the map. It's probably gonna be like Monkey Island, where we can go to a bunch of different locations once that opens up. So we'll, right, right now we need to find a dime and a map. Anything in here? Welcome to Quickie Pal. Can I help you find anything? Maps. There aren't any maps left. Sorry, little dude. The sheriff came by a bit ago and nabbed all the maps. Didn't even pay for them. Mm. Something about immature dominion or something like that. Oh, this milk is nasty. Ugh. All right, well, maybe... 
maybe we can find one in the in the sheriff's office somehow. Oh, more dust? What is all this speck of dust stuff? It's kind of weird. Alright, we went down B Street. B Street was where the YouTube chick was. Oh, we can get the we can get the tube from her. What did we need? WC67. Hey there. Let's go over to the counter where we can talk. Well, hi. I'm look we have lost. Do you know the and what is Oh, did one of the hydrant tron tubes burn out again? Oh yes. The Pigeon Brothers need one right away. Okay, I'll put it on the town's account. I'll get one for you, hun. You just wait right there. I'll be back before you know it. Here you go. Give the pigeons my regards. Cool. It's out of order. The coin slot is filled with glue, the buttons are missing, and the cord to the receiver is cut. Otherwise, it looks fine. Sounds good. Went down the alley. Here's your WC-67 tube. Thank you. Nice. All fixed. Here's our card in case you need any more plumbing help. We'll just clean up here and be gone soon. Cool. See what's down here. Oh, you can just click and hold down the mouse button? Oh, thank you. I totally didn't know that. Appreciate it. Nickel News. Your sheriff wants you to be clean and greenerino. Don't lead around the highway or vandalize the storefronts. You. It's a color. These must contain journalistic gold. I don't want to open. I don't want. I don't want to open. I can't open. Color Copytron 3000 for all your copying needs. Pigeon Brothers Plumbing, Electrical and Paranormal Investigations. We don't monkey wretch around. Look us up in the phone book for help. Welcome to the Thimbleweed Nickel. Eight years of experience and two degrees in journalism tells me you're a fed. I guess nothing gets by the press. You spend as much time as I have dealing with law enforcement. You get a second sense of this stuff. Hey, Plus RSS. The cheap suits. Mm, mostly the cheap suits. Um. We're here investigating the murder. Know anything? Oh, is that a map Not on the wall? Not much. Just what I heard over the police scanner. Body found in the river. I'll send my best reporter to check it out in the morning. Know who my best reporter is? Rolls eyes, you. Clark Kent. Clark Kent? If this damn town wasn't such a podunk, I'd have a couple of Pulitzers by now. Do you offer home delivery? Why? You plan on moving here? The town's got a charm to it. What's the deal with your sheriff? Seems kind of odd to read him. He is an oddball, but eh, so is everyone around here. And it's only gotten worse since Chuck died. Chuck Edmund? Chuck Edmund, the pillow magnet. He pretty much ran this town since the 50s and owns the giant pillow factory. Well, owned. He died a few days ago. His niece Dolores and her sister Lenore stand to inherit a fortune if they'll just stop fighting. What else do you know about Chuck? He started the pillow factory with his brother Franklin in the late 30s to make pillows for the war effort. Pillows win wars was their slogan. The factory and Chuck were the center of the thimbleweed social scene of the 50s. Intriguing. Chuck invested millions in automation and became an expert in AI. Aardvark insemination? Artificial intelligence. Uh, computers that can think. He started automating the whole town. People tell me it was like living in the future. That's one of his machines over there. The Copytron 3000. Then... Tell me more. 
The big pillow factory fire happened and killed several workers, and the whole place was shut down. Many blame the fire on over-automation and computer error. But I think Chuck manipulated the sheriff, and it was blamed on the security guard on duty at the time. But it was too late. Chuck was disgraced, and the factory's been closed for years. A dark shell of abandoned machinery. What do you know about the Pillow Factory fire? I have my suspicions of a big cover-up arena, you know what I mean? I've tried to gather evidence, but I've been blocked at every turn. It's a small town, so I have to watch the feathers I ruffle. We'll need a complete press blackout. Not with the First Amendment still in place. The core of a strong democracy is a strong press. True that. Don't you mean the Fifth Amendment? Nope. That sets out rules for indictment by grand jury in eminent domain and protects the right to due process. Well then. Don't you mean the Sixth Amendment? Nope. That protects the right to a fair and speedy public trial by jury, including the rights to be notified of the accusations, to confront the accuser, and to retain counsel. Don't you mean the Seventeenth Amendment? No. That establishes the direct election of the United States Senators by popular vote. Don't you mean the Fourth Amendment? No. That prohibits unreasonable searches and seizures and sets out requirements for search warrants based on probable cause. Don't you mean the... No. Is it just gonna... Don't you mean the 23rd Amendment? Nope. That grants the District of Columbia electors in the Electoral College. Don't you mean the 14th I wonder if it has this for everyone. No, that defines citizenship, contains the privileges or immunities This clause, is all absolutely true clause, for any non-Americans. Like, this clause. is our... Yeah. Don't you mean the... F nope. That prohibits the denial of the right to vote based on race, color, or previous condition of servitude. Okay, anyway. What do you know about <laughs> the Pillow Factory security guard? Not much. He died in the fire and was blamed for the whole thing. But I have my doubts. I just need some evidence. And I can finish my big story and expose the whole thing. Whoa. Don't you mean the Third Amendment? Nope. That places restrictions on the quartering of soldiers in private homes without the owner's consent, prohibiting it during peacetime. Don't you mean the Twenty-Fourth Amendment? No. That prohibits the revocation of voting rights due to the non-payment of taxes. Okay, that's done. Nice chatting. Got a murder to solve. Okay, actually, we Can gotta I do help? this real quick. Don't you... Don't you... I think it repeats. Don't you... Don't you mean... Nope. Don't you... Nope. Don't... Don't you mean... I, I see Fourth don't Amendment you... over and over. Don't you... Nope. Don't... Don't you... Don't you mean... Don't you... No. Okay. Nice chatting. Got a murder to solve. I can't open that. Do you know this map is a priceless first edition? Please don't touch. I need that though. Can I help you? Why can't I take your map? I'm a federal agent. Okay, that's actually two questions. First, being a federal agent doesn't mean you can waltz into a newspaper office and take their map. Uh, we have a little thing called the Fourth Amendment. And second, that's a priceless original. If you want a map, check the Quickie Pal. Can I, as a private citizen, please have your map? Nope, it's a priceless original. Can I? Mm. Mm. Nice. Please don't mess with I'm waiting for a call about a woman by the diner littering. That's what we did earlier. Or one of the things we could do. That's that's awesome. Um, what's all this stuff? Get your geek on to the max at ThimbleCon 87. A key ceremony at City Hall. Playtime is over at the Park Arcade. Blast bad guys in a tournament of our latest game, Die Enemy Die. Highest scorer gets free tokens all night. Wanted. Boost donations. Help out old Willie with a contribution straight to his liver. <laughs> Come find me by the burning trash can near Uncle Books. Whoa. Turn your dials to KSCU Pigeon Brothers Plummet Stupendous Brothers Boston Down to your share Razor Roses are safe Get your geek on to the max at Thim Boston Down to the bakery cuz Ricky These are awesome. I think this is for everything in the town. The That's great. Are not as popular as Can we use the Copytron on the map? Selling in bulk. 50% oh. discount on Thimbleberry pie when you grab one of Ricky's Maybe? But we don't have we don't have a nickel. We could get a nickel if we got the can though and turned that in. 
I know it's beautiful, but you can't remove it. We could also take a picture of it. But the camera is on the girl. Am I taking puzzle solutions from chat? Um, yes and no. Like, I, I kind of look at chat every so often, but I'm kind of mostly focused on the game. If I get to a point where I'm, like, really trying to figure out what to do, um, then I may glance over dime. at chat. Oh. I'm a federal agent, and I have some questions for you. You know anything about the body found by the bridge? A body? I thought that was a log wearing a suit. Do you know anything about the body or not? Oh, we can give the items to body. each other? I thought we okay. were talking about a log. Uh, not exactly. Do you know what body? Where do you sleep at night? I have a premium bit of cardboard real estate in the nicest part of the sewers. I've had almost no gator attacks. And there's even a grate for ventilation, so my sewer lung is even better than ever. What's that in your pocket? Looks like a wallet. I don't have a wallet. I'm a bum. I can see something is in your pocket. <laughs> Maybe I'm just happy to see you. It's in plain sight. I don't even need a warrant to just take it. It's mine, finders keepers. I will bum fight you. Ah, so you do in fact admit there is something in your pocket. Well, um, well I can't give it to you. What would I put my money in? I don't care. See, it's not so easy, is it, Hotshot? I've had enough. I'm a federal agent, hand over the bloody wallet. Well, I may be a drunk bum, but I know my rights, and you need a warrant. Now look, you find me another wallet to keep all personals in, and this one is yours. It's coming apart anyway, not like those amazing Ransom the Clown wallets they used to sell before its career hit the skids. Now, Ransom mm. was an adulterer, a cheat, and complete... But he licensed good wallets. We'll play it your way, for now. Okay. We'll talk where damn hole in my pocket always losing money. So he dropped a dime somewhere from the damn sounds of it. Damn hole in my pocket always filled to the brim with smelly trash. This has got to be a fire hazard. Looks like they're having a big sailing there. Occult books. Cast your lot before it's too late. Oh, it's that chick. It looks pretty ratty. And I do mean ratty. No way I'm touching that. This head seems almost alive. I think I saw it move. Oh, this I can't talk to it? Alive. I think I saw it move. Everything's cursed. Cursed mummy. Cursed doll. Cursed head. Don't touch the books unless you know what you want. Cursed cloak, of course. Mm, can't go back there. Well, I think we're gonna have to go ahead and uh, talk to her tomorrow. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh my God! This has been awesome. Uh, this game is a lot better than I thought it was going to be, and I actually had pretty high expectations. I'm gonna go ahead and save it right now. Um, but this has been this has been great. We got about three hours into this game, and um, it's been nothing but awesome. We are gonna continue right from here tomorrow, most likely around 12 p.m. again. Yes, tomorrow Reno. That's right. Um, we're gonna pick up most likely right from here tomorrow at starting at 12. Tom tomorrow will probably be a lot like today. So we'll probably do um, morning games. I'll do some solo battlegrounds. Then we'll do battlegrounds with subs. And then in the afternoon, we'll switch over to this game and try to get another at least uh, three or four hours in. I would normally go a little bit longer, but I do need to run a couple errands today for uh, for my wife and Rowan. So um, 
yeah, I got to get out and do stuff before things start closing down around here. But anyway, guys, I want to give a big shout out and thank you to all the, the new followers. Welcome to you guys, the subs, resubs, tippers, and cheers. Thank you for keeping the channel going. A final shout out to Flying Fish, Dr. Than uh, Zan Thanatos, Zeke the Cat, Rapunzel84 with the 37 months, Tyrafet with the 16, Valdega with the 28, RQBZZ with the 30, Zipserium with the 14, Hard Reg G or K with the 4 months, Siratita Sir uh, with the 34, JHCGM with the 2, and Idons with the 18 months thank you so much guys for all of the support anyway dudes i will see you all tomorrow who hope you have a great evening arena and uh thank you all as always for spending some of your time here today have an excellent morning afternoon evening wherever you are around the globe appreciate you spending some of your life here see you all tomorrow 8 a.m edt for more battlegrounds or 12 p.m edt for more thimbleweed park see you guys then bye-bye